Shemot, Exodus 39. And of the blue and purple and scarlet, they made cloths of service to do service in the holy place, and made at the holy garments for Aharon and Yahuwah, rather as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he made at the ephod of gold, blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen. And they did beat at the gold into thin plates and cut it into wires to work it in the blue and in the purple and in the scarlet and in the fine linen with cunning work. They made shoulder pieces for it to couple it together. By the two edges was it coupled together and the belt of his ephod that was upon it was of the same, according to the work thereof, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And they wrought at onyx stones, enclosed in ouches of gold, graven, as signets are graven, with the names of the children of Yasharael. And he put them on the shoulders of the ephod, that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Yasharael, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he made at the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. It was for square. They made at the breastplate double. A span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof, being doubled. And they set in it four rows of stones. The first row was a sardius, a topaz, and a carbuncle. This was the first row. And the second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a ligure, an agote, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in ouches of gold in their enclosings. And the stones were according to the names of the children of Yasharael, twelve according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, every one with his name according to the twelve tribes. And they made upon the breastplate chains at the ends of wreathen work of pure gold. And they made two ouches of gold and two gold rings and put at the two rings in the two ends of the breastplate. And they put the two wreathen chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. And at the two ends of the two wreathen chains, they fastened in the two ouches and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it. And they made two rings of gold and put them on the two ends of the breastplate upon the border of it, which was on the side of the ephod inward. And they made two other golden rings and put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath, toward the forepart of it, over against the other coupling thereof, above the belt of the ephod. And they did bind at the breastplate by his rings unto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue that it might be above the belt of the ephod and that the breastplate might not be loosed from the ephod as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he made at the robe of the ephod of woven work, rather of woven work, all of blue. And there was a hole in the midst of the robe, 
as the whole of a habergeon with a band round about the hole that it should not rend. And they made upon the hems of the robe pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet and twined linen. And they made bells of pure gold and put at the bells between the pomegranates upon the hem of the robe round about between the pomegranates a bell and a pomegranate a bell and a pomegranate round about the hem of the robe to minister in as yahuwah commanded at moshe and they made at coats of fine linen of woven work for Aharon and for his sons, and at a turban of fine linen, and at goodly bonnets of fine linen, and at linen breeches of fine twined linen, and at a belt of fine twined linen, and blue and purple and scarlet, of needlework, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And they made at the plate of the holy crown of pure gold, and wrote upon it a writing, like to the engravings of a signet. Holiness to Yahuwah. And they tied unto it a lace of blue, to fasten it on high upon the turban, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. Thus was all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of the assembly finished, and the children of Yasharael did according to all that Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. So did they. And they brought at the tabernacle unto Moshe el Moshe at the tent and at all his furniture, his tacks, his boards, his bars, and his pillars, and his sockets, and at the covering of rams' skins dyed red, and at the covering of badgers' skins, and at the veil of the covering, at the ark of the testimony, and at the staves thereof, and at the mercy seat, at the table, and at all the vessels thereof, and at the showbread, at the pure menorah, with at the lamps thereof, even with the lamps, to be set in order, and at all the vessels thereof, and at the oil for light, and at the golden altar, and at the anointing oil, and at the sweet incense, and at the hanging for the tabernacle door, at the brazen altar, and at his grate of brass, at his staves, and at all his vessels, and, rather, at the laver, and at his foot, at the hangings of the court, at his pillars, and at his sockets, and at the hanging for the court gate, at his cords and his pins, and at all the vessels of the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of the assembly, at the cloths of service to do service in the holy place, and at the holy garments for Aharon the priest, and at his son's garments to minister in the priest's office according to all that Yahuwah commanded at Moshe, 
So the children of Yashadael made at all the work. And Moshe did look upon at all the work. And behold, they had done it as Yahuwah had commanded. Even so had they done it. And Moshe blessed them.